A country you've heard about your whole life. We're good. Don't Thank blow. you so much. Jamaica is really the country of pleasure. Oh well. What a wonderful climate and what a beautiful day. Good morning guys from Kingston, Jamaica, country 84. My god, it's so exciting to be here. Everyone has been so friendly so far, so we cannot wait to explore. We're heading for breakfast now, so let's go. I spoke a little too soon about the temperature. It's a bit more like Southeast Asia, which means it's hot, but it's so beautiful. It's so green, the sky is blue. We're heading out to breakfast and our hotel is right next to one of the most iconic sites in Kingston, which is Emancipation Park. So we're gonna check that out after our meal. Uh, the colors for the soul. Maybe on the way back. Is this place vegan? It is. Awesome. There's so many vegan places in Kingston and in Jamaica. We'll explain why a little later, but amazing. It was a very nice surprise. Yeah. <laughs> starving it's 4 p.m. in Europe that's the time zone we're on because we just flew from there yesterday but we managed to get two shakes one is a well strong shake with some seeds and don't really remember one is peanuts oats banana and these four pies two with aki and two with broad beans so things we obviously don't usually eat so we're very excited to try them I'm not sure which one this is but hmm, not bad so good to just eat <laughs> So, we believe this is the aki and this is the broad bean uh, filling. I think this is the best one. One thing to us that takes any city to the next level is having it surrounded by mountains like Kingston is right behind us. We're staying in New Kingston, which according to the people we've spoken to so far is sort of a middle and upper class neighborhood. We've already been warned by several locals that there are many areas of Kingston we should avoid. Not only as foreigners, they said they wouldn't even go there themselves. We're looking at potentially renting a car starting from tomorrow. So we're walking around to some different locations now and just asking for different quotes. <laughs> That was easy, literally three minutes in and out. Got a rental car two days, dropping off in Montego Bay on the other side of the country for just $200 for two days. It's so efficient. Yeah, and that's one thing, like the last times we've been in the Caribbean, the vibe is very laid back, so people aren't in a hurry, right? And we're sweet, so we're very like stressed all the time. It needs to be quick. So, tight. so, so far we're very happy that things are very quick and efficient here as well. Now we're just gonna take a little walk in Emancipation Park and then head to the Bob Marley Museum. This is fun, on either side of the entrance they have the Jamaican National Pledge and the Jamaican National Anthem. I'm not gonna try to sing it because we don't know the melody. Emancipation Park they have a jogging track and I love this because it's a start here finish here and you just sort of jog around It's just so satisfying to know that there's like a nice maintained jogging park not that we ever jog But, but now just... maybe you would start jogging yeah. jogging <laughs> This park is incredibly well maintained and there's even free Wi-Fi. Oh wow. I know. That's pretty so, good. Oh no, network's not available. If this works, it will allow us to read more about the park. But if it doesn't work, we'll do it when we get to the hotel. We're gonna try to get a tourist SIM card later, but we need to walk to the store. Emancipation Park commemorates just what it sounds like, the end of slavery. So it's a very important symbol. It was only opened in 2002, so it's relatively new and beautifully maintained, as we said earlier. Oh damn, we're truly in a tropical climate now because all of a sudden we have this looming right in front of us. 
It's so cool to finally be in such an iconic country. I mean, Jamaica is a country you've heard about your whole life. And obviously we all know Bob Marley and we're gonna go see the museum. Also today is Wednesday and it turns out that, drum roll, the Bob Marley Museum is closed on Wednesdays. So I think we're gonna have to try our luck early tomorrow morning as soon as they open. We'll go there before we venture into the rest of the country because we only have this whole day in Kingston. I have to say, you go all around the world and you see these colors. And now we're in the country of these colors. It That's feels kind of crazy. This stuff, you know, normally I kind of cringe. I'm like, stop it with the whole, you know, Rasta thing. But now I'm like, this is the place to do it. Yeah, man. I mean, oh, you, you, made, you make this? Yeah, yeah, we made them. Oh, wow. really? I'll take some picture and send to your friends. Now. This is his marijuana plant. It's yeah. legal, so. On the side of the street. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're good. Thank you so much. All good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jamaica is really the country of pleasure. Also, I love that our 83rd country was Saudi Arabia and now this. It's really about the contrast in life, isn't it? This is the only place I've smelled weed more than in San Francisco, to be honest. So we were just randomly roaming around looking for lunch. I'm trying to cross the street without dying. And we spotted a vegetarian restaurant. We're heading to uh, one of the most iconic sites in Kingston, Devon House. It's a pretty nice vibe. I mean, we are in New Kingston, but the people are very friendly. We never vlog when we're in New York, but we actually eat like a decent amount of Caribbean food when we're there. First, I didn't register, but of course it's the same concept. So it's basically like a buffet. You choose your carbs, you choose your proteins, and you have a delicious self-assembled meal. Somehow Kingston turns out to be very vegan friendly and we did not expect it whatsoever. <laughs> so we paid for our lunch and now we're going next door to actually pick up the lunch and have the lunch right here. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, thank you. What did they say? They'll come here. So where do we eat it? I don't know. Maybe there, I don't know. Well, we got to sit down. I mean, this is like a really local restaurant. So I'm very happy we get to try this. And uh, let's see what the food looks like. Watch out for all the wind. Ooh, it looks great. Look at this. This is a lot of food. Hmm. Here's a sweet potato casserole. Damn good. Mm. Really good meal. After a delicious lunch, it is time to head to Devon House. I love this. Just mango trees right by the next to the street, filled with mangoes. Here it feels like we're in the UK or something. Okay, we finally found the entrance. So this is Devon House. It was apparently the home of the first millionaire in Jamaica back in 1881. So clearly being a millionaire back then was even a bigger deal than being a millionaire nowadays. This really cute courtyard. So let's see if we can get a tour or some sort of information. Just starting a tour of Devon House. It's a private tour. It's 1750 per person. So if you come here, look for our message. What should we write? Yeah. See you around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today's a very intense day. The jet lag is hitting in. It's, what is it in Sweden? 11 p.m. at this point. 
Good morning! It is a new day in Jamaica and it is even hotter than yesterday. And so windy too, I hope you can hear us. We are going to pick up our rental car and then we have a day full of action planned. First stop after that, Club Marlo. We got the car, we're ready to go. Okay, let's see. Look out. I haven't driven on the left side in so long. But, be but before we head there, we gotta get a local SIM card. We have this really amazing plan, Sweden, that gives us data in 80 countries around the world. But sadly, Jamaica is not one of them and we'll kind of need it when we drive around the island. It's really cheap, so we're actually getting one each. We usually only get one to share it between the two of us, but... This time, we're getting one each. Where do I turn off the, the, what? the freaking um, the radio? Well, that was actually pretty easy. You never know what it's going to be like to get a local SIM card until you try it. It's different in every country. I think the easiest region overall has always been Southeast Asia. Malaysia is Malaysia. the best. It takes literally one minute. You don't even have to show your passport, I think, in nothing, Malaysia. Nothing. It's crazy. And then on the other end of the spectrum, you have countries like Japan, Korea, where it's I think still pretty much impossible to get a tourist SIM card. We know because we lived in both <laughs> countries, so we've experienced it firsthand. <laughs> Thank God our new SIMs work there, I think. So let's head to the, the museum. Bob Marley Museum. Let's do it. Well, so far, driving is a little bit of a stressful experience sometimes. But... Clearly, this is not the Bob Marley Museum. We'll tell you in a second why. We found an awesome, another like local sort of vegan restaurant. There's a guy outside selling vegan cakes. No water added, coconut, sweet with dates and raisins. Yeah, yeah man, no, so I got <laughs> okay. Okay. So we got one chocolate and one banana. And what was this? Can you? Well, it's a Magnum smoothie. It's basically a bunch of uh, seeds and uh, good stuff. Some very Jamaican stuff. And he gave us this for free, which is like a traditional foot, foot scrubber. file. Foot yeah, foot scrub yeah. thing. <laughs> what, what, what is the name of this? Jamaican Magnum. Yep. Oh well. Mmm. Smells really good. Dan was just saying he wonders if these are actually edibles. You never know in Jamaica. <laughs> Yum. Jerk mushroom burger. Our first jerk meal. We have some mac and cheese, beans and rice, coconut curry lentils, and jerk mushroom. Okay, let's try the jerk mushroom. Some vibes. <laughs> Good. So things were complicated a little bit. When we got to the Bob Marley Museum, we found out that you have to have an appointment and they only have tours every two hours for a very small group. So we got there literally 15 minutes after the last one started. We ended up going and having lunch at the Veggie uh, Campus. Pretty decent, but not as good as the place we just stumbled upon yesterday, actually. Then we checked out of the hotel, picked up our bags, and now we're heading to the Bob Marley Museum to quickly do the tour before we rush to the north of the country to go to Ocho Rios. I wouldn't say we're necessarily Bob Marley experts or anything, but of course he's an iconic Jamaican and this is the number one thing to do in Kingston. So I'm happy we made it here. So that's it for the Bob Marley house. Definitely, it feels like more of a thing if you're a Bob Marley fan. There wasn't really a lot of background information for us very ignorant people. <laughs> so we just walked around, we're like, mm, yes, this is his 12 child's coat. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like something like that. No, but it was still cool to see it. We're gonna try to learn more about Bob Marley. Now we're gonna listen to him as we take the one and a half hour drive up to Ocho Rios. That'll never fade away. 
made it to Ocho Rios, but it's more pronounced something like Ocho Rios, man. My god, such a different vibe from uh, Kingston, which makes sense because it's a tiny beachside town. More foreigners, young people, just laid back beach vibes. Maybe laid back, but there's still quite a bit of traffic. Alright, so we made it to our Ocho Rio. Alright, so we made it to our Ocho Rios hotel. We're gonna take a nice little swim. It's so beautiful. Honestly, above expectations, at least yeah. for me. And uh, I think we're gonna put the vlog here and begin the next one from the exact same spot. So until we see you next time, see, see you around, around the world. world. Next time on Oscar and Dan. We're already starting to get. Board. Drive very carefully, okay? It's burnt. It's burnt.